I was up y'all was popping was cracking it. Steve Bots reacts to this vid by all access media. It's titled Nicki Minaj Blasted and Bash for being late to her show. Oh, and Nicki goes off on Funky Mouth Interviewer. What? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, people are upset that she's being late. I have seen a few people say here and there on social media that she's late to pretty much all her shows. So, hmm, let's hear what they got to say. Let's watch. Well, you guys know that Nicki Minaj is on tour for her Pink Friday 2 tour, and this is like a, the second leg. But now Nicki Minaj is getting called out and blasted and bashed because she was a couple of hours late to her tour in a Buffalo, New York. And a lot of people was disappointed was because I think the concert was supposed to start at 9 o'clock, but Nicki Minaj did not get on stage till like 10 or 10.30. Do you know you have 30 minutes? 30, 30, 30. the set list? That's a problem. Never come to a Nikki show again. See, that's the problem. I wouldn't be too upset if, you know, she she was late because I, I feel like that's kind of common to be honest. A lot of these artists be late to come on to come out. But you not performing your whole set list, that's a problem. Cause I'll stay late. I'll stay later than, you know, was supposed to be the end of the, the concert. I don't, I don't care about that. But what you're not about to do is play me and give me half a show when I paid my full amount of money. So that's the real problem. And where are the openers, bro? 11.33 and we're sitting here fucking bored. See? Nicki Minaj, don't bring your ass back to Buffalo doing this dumb shit. Ooh. This shit's boring. Ooh. Like you ain't even got your DJ hyping up the crowd. Like, we're literally sitting here like we're ready to go home. I should not feel like this at a concert. Damn. Like, this shit, yeah, no, absolutely not. I'm ready to go home. Nicki Minaj did mm. make an Instagram post about her stop in New York. She said, hashtag Gag City Buffalo New York was a last night. And I love y'all so much. I think I used to be out in Buffalo back in the day, getting a bag here and there. Always cool. been the realest. I love and appreciate you guys for the energy you gave me last night. I hope to see you again soon. Well, people on Twitter gave their thoughts and opinions. One person said she never shows up on time and gives a lackluster performances. Oh. Everyone I know that went to her concert from Houston, Atlanta, New Orleans said she was late as F. Another user chimed in and said, I never seen, heard, or been to a concert where the artist is late. Really? No hate on Nikki. I love her. Been a bar. How many concerts you been to? Because <laughs> I don't even go to concerts like that often but it's it's, it's kind of common it's well i don't pablo i don't know what artists you're going to see but the black ones <laughs> those are the ones i'm paying to go see and, and they be late all right so maybe the other races that you go see maybe they're on time i don't know i can't speak for them since 2014 but the blacks are, are late <laughs> that you rise late that's unprofessional and then this person said, to be honest, I love Nicki Minaj. I'm a huge fan Beyonce of her. Was late. But as far as concerts go, I've been disappointed one too many times. My first time seeing her was Essence Festival. She came out late, but everyone gave her the benefit of the doubt. And my second time was supposed to be this year. Nicki well, as you guys Minaj. can see, a lot of people had a problem with Nicki Minaj being late. Have you guys been to a Nicki Minaj like concert? Girl, why are you talking over the clip? She's late. Well, let me know down in the comments below. So moving on to the next topic. Nicki Minaj responded Ooh, to a reporter that Girl. Do we have, have, do we have, have unity amongst human beings? Uh, funky like, it is about the negative at all. Do you think we will ever have real, okay. true, with all the black powerhouses like yourself that we have, we will ever true have real unity amongst our people? Who are our people? Do we have, do we have unity amongst human beings? Uh, like, if it's 8 billion people in the world, imagine thinking every all 8 billion people gonna get along with each other. That's like, true. whether you're the same color, whether you're the same race, sex, whatever, like, religion. Ain't nobody gonna always get along with everybody. When you come to work, I used to be a waitress, okay? Okay. Um, nobody. It was a bunch of people not getting along in there. I mean, no matter where you go, you're going to be at odds with people. I think the point, though, is... When you get to a place where nothing around you affects what's inside of you. Mm. Like you have to get to a place where you are so self-aware um, but humble and also 
realizing that you can't change everything, you can't change everyone. The only thing you can do is wake up every day and try to like do what you have to do. Um, I'm gonna rock with the people who I wanna rock with. And everybody else should do the same thing. Nobody's entitled to rock with you, and nobody's entitled to, lock, to like you. I mean, that's that's right. absolutely facts. I love that. Listen. It's crazy how he's going to sit up there I and say that. facts. I like your response. And then he's going to say this. So if somebody said congrats, and he responded to that person and said she dug the smoke on that question, man. I have to take a shot, though. So Ooh. Nicki Minaj responded and said the obsession. Only thing I ducked was his effing breath. It smelled like a double portion of four wings and some French fries. Hot A and ketchup ninja. So she basically went off on him like I liked her answer. He wanted her to be messy and start some drama or something, but no, Nicki Minaj gave a good answer. Like at the end of the day, yeah. everybody is not going to like each other. People have different opinions and different views. Everybody is not going to like each other. You can get along. You can mess with who you want to mess with. But at the end of the day, everybody is not going to get along. But anyways, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on these topics down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share. Yeah, I feel like she gave a pretty good answer. I'm not sure what he's referencing because he's like, oh, she's ducking the smoke. So it seemed like he was trying to bring up the whole Kendrick situation. Maybe he's trying to imply that there's no unity there because she's not really in support of, of Kendrick performing and she's kind of, you know, hyping up Wayne but seeming to slight Kendrick. Or if he's talking about how she don't get along with none of the other uh, female rappers and most of them are black. But I mean, to be fair primarily black people in the rap space. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure which of those he was talking about, or maybe both. But yeah, I feel like she gave a pretty decent answer because it's like, you, you don't have to like everybody, like regardless of skin tone. Like, okay, we all black, but that don't mean I gotta like other black people. <laughs> like, and I, I don't know why people always feel like you're anti-black or you're being, you know, against your own people when you don't, you don't fully support another black person. It's like, bro. I'm, I don't have to like every black person or support everything that they do. It, it, it makes no sense. People do that all the time. So I feel like she gave a solid response to that. But as far as her concert, girl, go to hell. If you coming out late and you not giving the full set, that's the problem. I don't even mind the lateness per se, but you coming out and, and cutting your set list in half or you giving a very dry performance, I'm going to be annoyed as well. So I feel where those people are coming from. So, yeah, this this don't look good for her, to be honest. You know, this wouldn't make me want to go to a show. I mean, I didn't want to go to this show anyway because I don't like this album. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if, if she has another album that I, I fuck with, I'm probably going to think twice. Like, hmm, she was getting a lot of complaints with her last show. And speaking of, she has now switched the, the release date for for this, uh, this new album, child. Well, now she's saying it's going to be a new complete project like uh separate from pink friday too um because before it was just going to be a deluxe and i was waiting okay i was waiting to check it out but it, ne it never dropped and i was like hmm <laughs> so then she's like actually i'm gonna do this instead and barb just wait it's coming that's what she said so <laughs> uh, i guess we'll see y'all anyway y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you've been watching i'll see you on the next one bye